All right, welcome to bullwebs.org. This is Ender here. It's the weekend video. And uh, you know the deal. This is the website. If you want a nightly Elliott Wave analysis and you like what I do, check out the website and become a member. Think about it anyway. And um, no, don't think about it. Just do it. And uh, I'll see you for tonight's update. And then every night after that. Okay, uh, let's get into it. This uh, would go to over here and we check this out okay this is uh, euro dollar this is the four hour chart i have long been looking for a reversal higher into an impulsive reversal higher um and most likely if we go out to the weekly chart most likely uh, a rally in wave c of b probably uh, probably up to about 126 um so this week uh, has provided at least the uh, a reasonable hint that that is what's actually happening here and uh, maybe a um, uh, the first initial move uh, off the low to reverse this uh, kind of constant decline we were under over the last uh, six months or so okay or more um this is the hourly chart here uh, i am tracking five waves up i don't think we're there yet uh, five, this would be five waves up in wave one. Um, it seems to be this, uh, the action this week is, is quite corrective looking, quite sideways looking. I'm, I suspect right now that we are, we're just tracing out a, let's say an expanded flat, possibly an expanded flat correction, wave four, and then we will rally again next week in wave five. So, uh, at this point I'm looking for uh, one more drop. Let's, Probably back, back to about 106.40 uh, to complete wave four and then a rally in wave five. And that's, you know, if that happens, you can probably say this time next week we'll be talking about um, a top in wave one. Uh, and the price itself won't be a whole lot higher, I reckon, maybe up around 108. Um, and then I'll be looking for a decline in wave two. So um, we're looking at probably another week or more. Of sideways action or more but maybe probably two weeks if you if you count in a decline down into a second wave so probably two weeks more of sideways to down action um in euro dollar left but the initial um signs are good that we are actually turning here um so i'll be looking for that uh, impulsive pattern to complete pretty soon okay here is um pound dollar uh i think the fourth wave scenario correction, or the fourth wave correction higher scenario that I've been looking at is uh, the most likely outlook now. Go to the hourly count here and see uh, I'm tracking three waves up in wave A, uh, and at the moment maybe an expanded flat wave B. So um, it would be three up in A, three down in B, and then a rally in wave C to complete wave um, wave four. Uh, it's actually wave four in red here. Uh, so, at the moment, again, it's going to be uh, next week. I'm looking for probably a five-wave decline in wave C. So, it'll probably be a down week next next week, if this count is correct. Um, we probably break 124, I reckon, to complete wave C and wave B, and then look for a rally again in wave, uh, the overall wave C of four towards the end of next week. But uh, initially next week, looking for a decline in wave C of of uh, wave B. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> now I was looking for dollar yen to turn for the last while, and we seem to be uh, on the cusp of, I think, a uh, a one-two pattern completing uh, off the top there. So we have a top in at one thirty-one thirty-five. Uh, you can see that there. That's the wave five of one top here. Um, I'm looking for overall uh, decline in wave two. That should probably bring us down towards one fourteen or down, come back to more this corrective range again um, that we experienced into February, and then we had this blast of a rally out in wave five. So overall, I'm looking for three waves down in wave two, but right now it looks like we're only. Well, I could probably up the up the degree of this wave count here, but it looks like we're only in getting started with the initial lower high uh, of that larger correction. So. Um, Right now, possibly five waves down in wave one and looking for three waves up in wave two. We have a 50 percent replacement here at 128, uh, call it 128.80. Um, so three waves up 
uh, will complete wave two towards the middle of next week, uh, maybe early next week, and then and then look for a decline towards the end of next week again into a third wave, uh, possibly even a C wave. Um, it all depends on how this this correction down in wave two is going to um, materialize over the next while. Uh, and it looks like if we go back to, out to the four hour count, it looks like it's going to be quite a while before you know we get to a low in wave two, probably another couple of months anyway. So we might be looking at you know a full retracement of the recent rally again. So that, that'd probably be the minimum expected uh, decline in wave two. So let's see how that goes next week. Uh, we have the Dow here. We triggered this alternate count in the Dow today. Um, and actually, looking at the the pattern, we could we could even have another possibility for an alternate count in the Dow also. So nothing has been proven or nothing has been ruled out <laughs> at this point. Uh, we see, we still seem to have a series of one twos. Um, at this point, this wave one and two in blue still suits. Uh, we we could even up this by one degree, and I don't think that would uh, violate anything at all. Um, it just depends on how you view it, and I don't think it would actually allow for even much more of a rally um, that I am allowing for here at this moment in time. So uh, just keep that in mind, that large degree one, two pattern. Uh, for the moment, let's see, you know, if it's an expanded flat, then you would expect this wave C here to rally above the initial wave A high, and that's what we've got. So let's get into the hourly count here. So you can see this is the alternate count here. We did have a, a, a very impulsive decline last week, and hence the reason uh, for, let's say, the uh, prolonged um, holdout uh, of, of uh, triggering this alternate count here. But uh, at this point in time, we seem to have a wave A up, wave B down, and then a one, two, three, four, five scenario going on here. Uh, we've already kind of, on the short term anyway, we've topped out on momentum. Uh, it'd probably take a, another couple of days for us to kind of start rolling over again. Uh, and I do suspect that is what's ahead of us. So, you know, the funny thing about, <laughs> the funny thing about um, people's outlooks, especially when it comes to the market, is, you know, we have this 20% figure in our head, or it's told to us, you know, that a, you know, a typical bear market is 20%, and once the market declines 20%, what you should be really doing is, you know, deploying your capital and getting at the bottom and, you know, you know, the bear market is over. You know, the funny thing about that is the bear market is never acknowledged until you get at least 20% down. And then the second they get 20% down, they start looking for a rally. <laughs> saying that the bear market is over because you've got 20% down. <laughs> Acknowledged it, but now we're out of it. Okay, I ain't going nowhere on this. I think this is a stink ball of a market, and I think uh, we're pretty close to, you know, even completing this alternate account here, which does allow for even a little bit more of um, a rally in wave C of two. I know we've been going sideways, and I've been calling for, uh, you know, a a waterfall movement into a third wave down. Um, you'll forgive me. I, I did. I did think that we had a wave one down into that third wave last week. Um, but here we are. We're working with the alternate now. Let's see how this five wave uh, pattern in wave C closes out, and then we'll work on moving down into wave three. So we'll see how this all um, pans out. Let's say. Uh, okay, move on. Uh, time to move on. Let's get on to gold again. Uh, we are not, we haven't confirmed, I think, yet anyway, that, um, you know, at least a, a medium term low is in. We've had a nice bounce. We were looking for that bounce. We got the bounce. Well, let's go for the um, hourly count here. We haven't confirmed it because we don't have a three wave correction to a lower high yet. Uh, I'm looking at an ABC pattern here um, of a possible wave one top. Again, I'm not, <laughs> you know, it's even in my mind being a bull in gold. This is still a little bit, it's a little bit tight for me in terms of being all out, all out bullish here. But if we do hold a higher low next week, you know, we fall, let's say we complete three waves down, we 
fall into about 1820 or 1825 or something like that. Um, most definitely above the wave two low here at uh, 1807. So if we hold above 1807, we have three waves down. Then I think it'll be uh, it'll be bullish time, especially if we rally off that low. So we're still looking for this, uh, let's say, bullish imp impulse wave to build off the recent uh, low at 1786. We're not there yet. I think we, s we still need one more dip uh, to complete three waves down in wave two. So that's what I'll be looking for early next week. Okay. Now, crude oil. We are slightly looking at a slightly different scenario in wave two today and yesterday. Um, we have, I still, I still think we have wave one and two and a one, two, and that's most likely well, my best guess uh, scenario here. Um, looking for a third wave down. I think, you know, people have mostly, at, at this point, I'd say they've mostly dismissed um, the, let's say, capitulation decline scenario that I'm looking at. Um, in, this, in the stock market, anyway, I, I can almost hear the reverberations, the bullish reverberations that are going on today. Um, We've bottomed, you know, it's time to buy, time to dip into, you know, such and such and such a stock. Okay, let's see. You know, I could be totally wrong, but um, good feeling here is, you know, end of an era. <laughs> okay, hourly count. This is the ABC pattern up in wave two that I'm looking at. So we have wave one low here down um, around 92.50. Initial move higher in wave A, three waves down in wave B, and then five wave pattern in an ending diagonal in wave um, C. So we've got this one, two, three, four, and five. We've got to call it a wedge pattern in wave C. Uh, we must hold below 116 uh, if this pattern is to remain valid. I'll get rid of you. You can see the three waves up scenario that I'm looking at there. Um, triangle wave B, A wave up, triangle wave B, C wave up. Um, if we fall early next week, we fall five waves again. We challenge that 103 low again. Uh, we could be looking at uh, the reversal in for crude oil. It is interesting how, you know, supply constraints and war continues to go on, but God help those people who have to suffer through that war. But here we are pretty much flat for the last uh, two months. So uh, that should be saying something, well, saying something to me anyway, whether it's saying something to anything else, anybody else anyway. Um, we have so many other indicators that are flashing recession now, and, you know, all we need is the the actual, uh, we don't even need it. I mean, it's it's pretty much there, you know, declines in spending, you know, real spending and actual volume spending um, happening across the board right now. Uh, so, you know, the consumer is, is pulling in. Um, I know I have. <laughs> have you? Have you stopped buying? Um, housing is, is rolling over quite, quite quickly this time. And I think the Fed actually really wants to bust that housing uh, bubble. And they'll get their way on that one, I'm sure. Um, okay. Because once housing does turn, then a lot of the CBI falls, you know, because you have a lot of the staples behind that that you know, will not get purchased. Uh, okay, so here we are, an ending diagonal, possible wave C. Uh, we get an impulsive move down. That will be a, a big red flag for a third wave down. Okay, let's move on. This is the S&P. Uh, triggered this alternate count a little bit quicker than the Dow uh, for wave two, but we have a solid five wave pattern in wave one. Now we're working with an expanded flat wave two. Uh, we... 50% retracement. <laughs> forgive, forgive my sound effects there. 50% retracement of wave one does lie at 42, out of 4250. Uh, could we get that high? Yes, we could. Um, here's the hourly count, and that shows you how we could get up to 4250. Let's get rid of that. So we have wave A up, wave B down to a new low. Uh, you project, if you project um, the length of wave A, off the low of wave B, it gives you a high for wave C at 41.98, so call it 4,200. Um, we're, we're getting close. We'll, we will get close to that possibly by the end of this session. 
um, but I'm looking at five waves up to trace out uh, a completed wave C of wave two. And now we've got a cluster of targets there between 4200 and 4247. Um, so this is your, let's say, eyes on area for next week. Uh, we'll know more by tonight because uh, obviously there's much of it, the trading session to go over in the US, even though we're in the late afternoon here in um, in my little neck of the woods. Okay, so five waves up, wave C, let's see how that goes, and we'll work on wave three down next week. And I know I'm going to get slack. It hasn't happened yet. But just because something doesn't ha hasn't happened doesn't mean it ain't going to happen. Okay, so we're Correcting higher in wave 4 on the short term count, I have triggered this uh, larger wave 4 count, I think. Have I done that? Yes, I have. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty uh, cumbersome uh, pattern that's, that has emerged off the wave 3 low here. Uh, cumbersome is good in terms of correction because cumbersome allows me to call the action corrective. So... For me, at least, it's uh, it's good. Um, it looks like at this point, the best way I could describe this is a combination, maybe three waves up, three wave down, and three up in A, three down in B, and then three up in C. Um, would have to see whether we top this out or not uh, today. We've spiked lower this afternoon. Uh, we really need to start breaking those B wave lows before calling. Um, Wave 5 underway, so I will be looking for that next week, if this counts as correct. Um, uh, for the moment, there's no reason to suggest that it's not. I don't think this is a uh, an impulsive pattern off the lows, so we'll see how that goes. Here is Bitcoin. Working on this fourth wave correction, It's again, it's a little bit cumbersome, but I think the action over the last week, this sideways to down action has been in a B wave. And I'll show you that on the hourly count here. So wave three down, wave four up, and then wave five down will come our way soon enough. Uh, here's wave three. You can uh, either way, either degree or or label you use here. It's still the same count. It's just uh, viewing it two different degrees. Um, three waves up in A. We have a triple combination wave B. So we have a three, three, and three wave B. And then we seem to be working on wave C up. Uh, we haven't confirmed this yet. But only a break of 31330 will will call uh, wave C uh, in play. So we've got uh, five waves up coming our way, I think, and then uh, we should decline then in wave five. So let's see how it goes. Still looking at a correction higher. So this overall will be a correction, um, topping out probably somewhere around 33500 and then declining again uh, into a fifth wave down. Okay, let's go on. I'll do the NASDAQ today. This is a four hour count in the NASDAQ. I'm not quite sure we have wave three. Go to the hourly count here. No, uh, we, I'm not sure we have wave three done here. I think this is a correction again, expanded flat correction in a fourth wave within wave three, and then we should fall again uh, in wave five of three, probably beginning early next week. So we've got a wave. It, well, yeah, I suppose. It, Depending on how you view it, it could be wave three here and ABC, wave four, or wave three at the low, and then A, B, and C in wave four. This is most definitely turning out to a five wave rally. So this five wave rally does fit an ABC pattern higher. It should be three, three, and five as part of a flat correction. Um, we're at the previous fourth wave high right now, so. Uh, Early next week, I do think we'll probably reverse lower uh, into wave five in the Nasdaq. So uh, overall, what does that mean? It means that we've got wave one down, wave two up, wave three coming to a close, and then we'll correct sideways in wave four. I do think the Nasdaq is ahead of the game here. You could also say that this is wave one down, two up, one down, and two up. So it depends on how this correction higher actually um plays out over the next week or so. Uh, if we continue to kind of correct higher in general over the next few weeks, say back up to about 13,600 or 14,000, then I'll, I'll be working with this one, two, one, two scenario uh, with a third of a third decline still coming our way. Um, 
nothing has been achieved here in terms of the completion of any pattern, I don't think so. Um, the major third wave down is still ahead of us. I... Let's see what next week brings, I think. Um, okay, I think that does it. We are at the end of the road of this little video. Quite a quick one, I think, actually. Um, this is the good news. Everybody switches off now. Look, I'm giving you time. Switching off. But maybe you're not going to. Maybe you listen to what I have to say. This is the ABCs of salvation. I, I you know, I usually I don't really know what to say here. It just happens. Um, you know, maybe God will give me the words to uh, to say. But well, that's what Jesus did say. He said, you know, don't worry about what you're going to say until you know you have to say it, and I'll give you the words to say it. Um, so here we are. Uh, the ABC of salvation: admit you're a sinner, believe that Jesus is God's Son, and confess that He's the Lord over your life, and commit yourself. That's it. Commit yourself to the Messiah. Uh, it's pretty simple. He, Jesus came to proclaim a very simple gospel. We made it very hard. We made it about jumping through hoops and, you know, achieving uh, kind of sacra sacramental goals and, you know, attending church God knows, daily, you know, the, the more often the better, you know, you come from my background. It was Catholic, a Catholic background. And more often you go to the church, the better. But all this practice doesn't practice your way into salvation. There's no such thing as practicing your way, becoming better at being saved. There's only one. There's two camps on this earth, the camp of the lost and the camp of the saved. You know, if you're lost, that means, you know, you're on your way to perdition. There's nothing I can do about that. Repent and believe. Repent means change your mind, turn your direction. So repent from the way of destruction and go towards the way of salvation. Um, and then you try and live your life, you know, as good as you can after that. You know, you try and implement the precepts of, uh, you know, following the way of the Messiah. As Paul said, Paul said, I follow the way of the Messiah. That's what St. Paul said. He didn't, he didn't say, I'm a Christian. He said, I follow the way of the Messiah. That's how he described it. So me, that's how I describe it. I follow the way of the Messiah. You know, ups and downs, there are ups and there are downs. There are days that I just, I fail miserably. There are days that you will fail miserably. But your position, that's what matters. Uh, Paul also said your position in Christ is what saves you. Are you in the Messiah? Do you Are you in the camp of the Messiah? You know, your allegiance. Where is your allegiance? Is your allegiance to this world or is it to you know, salvation, the next world, because there is much more waiting for us after this veil of physicality has been lifted off us and we, you know, we look down in our dead body and we either head off to, you know, what you wished for in terms of your destruction and your damnation, or you have put on the righteousness of the Messiah, you have accepted his sacrifice on just outside the gates of the city. He died for your sins as a sacrificial lamb pay for your sins and he has paid for it you accept the payment and you go on as a child of God so I would urge you to think about that I rambled a lot there I didn't really think that I make a lot of sense myself but uh, I know that I do kind of uh, ruin my business by doing this so there's a at least you can say that um I am sincere in what I say here. So I hope to see you in the camp of the Messiah. God willing. All right. Onwards and upwards for everybody on the website. I'll see you tonight. For everybody else, I'll see you next week in YouTube land until they delete my channel um, for proclaiming the gospel because that's probably going to be next on the hit list. God bless. Have a good weekend. See you on the other side.